Hey guys. Okay, so today I'm very excited. Happy Monday. I miss y'all so much. I cannot wait to be back and see all of you. Okay, so we are going to talk about a book I have. And I'm going to give a book talk about it. The book is called The Story of the Three Little Pigs. So in this book, all this stuff happens, and there's this wolf, and he's scary, but he's not really scary. And then he he's only trying to go, like, get some sugar, but then he sneezes a lot. And all these sneezes cause all these problems. And then these pigs, they're afraid, and they run away. And, oh, my gosh, they don't like that. Blah, 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 blah. Ten more things happen. And, oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's stop. Let's take it back. This dot is super excited about this book because this is one of my favorite books. I love it so much, but that is not how you give a book talk. I know that when we get excited, we might talk really, really, really fast, maybe too fast, and it makes it really hard for the people you're giving the book talk to to understand what you're talking about or what you're saying. So it is very, very important that you talk just like I'm talking right now in a slow tone that people can hear at a slow speed. So you're not talking too fast that someone has to really, really listen in and has no idea what you're saying and they might miss something really important. Did you get that? Because I probably wouldn't have. So you need to slow down so people can hear you, have some pauses. It is exciting, and we're going to talk about how we can show excitement with our voice without talking really fast. So if I gave my whole book talk like this, talking about how there's a wolf, and he's going to get some sugar, and he's sneezing a lot, it's all lies, he said, but the pigs... They know. They know the truth. It doesn't really sound like I'm excited. It sounds like I'm mad or angry, maybe sad, but that is not excitement. This is excitement. Oh my gosh, this happened and that happened. You can hear how high pitched my voice gets, and that shows that I'm really excited about something. So let's try it again. Also, when we're doing a book talk, I don't want to put the book over my face. It makes it hard to hear. Yeah, you can't really hear me when I have my book right up here. So I'm telling you about my book, and it's really great. No, no, it's going to be a no. Okay, so let's try again. Okay, guys, I read this book, and it's great. It's called The True True story of the three little pigs. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you guys, who knew that the story you thought you knew was not true? This wolf in this book was pretty convincing. So let me give you the rundown without giving you all the details and without spoiling the ending. All right. So there's a wolf and I mean, this guy does not look scary to me. This wolf, he's not scary at all. And he's like cooking, but then he's gonna make something. And um, he ran out some sugar. See, he ran out sugar here. And oh, he had a cold. He was sick. Had a cold. No big deal. Okay, not a big deal. But then there are these pigs, and um, he, he tries to go to their houses. Okay, he he knocks. And don't forget he had a cold, okay, guys? He has a cold. Okay, he's sick. And he, he's trying to go to these six houses. And, I mean, you have to see what happens to the pigs. But I can tell the pigs were not nice. You know, I, I wouldn't have been friends with them. No. I think the wolf's telling the truth, honestly. He, uh, he's so nice. And these pigs, they were just very bad. But... The wolf gets in trouble, and it it was wrong, and he should not have gotten in trouble. I don't think he did anything wrong, but the book is really great. And if you read it, you're going to find out what happens to the pigs, where the wolf goes at the end, and don't forget, you're going to know the true story. 
because right now you don't you don't know you don't know the true story because those pigs those stinking pigs they've been lying to you it's lies those books you read about the pigs it's a lie it's not true no this this right here this is the true story you have to read it to find out and hear about what really happened okay so you will heard how miss dawn sometimes talked a little fast when it was important to you and you could hear in my voice that i was excited that i liked the book that i want you to read the book that's a great book it's awesome it's the best book ever and i left some mystery i didn't tell you what happened to the pigs and tell you what happened to the wolf at the end and but i did tell you that i think the story you heard about the three little pigs and the wolf was the bad guy i told you i thought it was a lie because the book was pretty convincing pretty convincing so today guys when you're reading your book i want you to think about how you can put that into a book talk i want you to practice in your seat giving a book talk after you read your book think about the important things you need to talk about think about the things you don't want to talk about Think about how you're not going to spoil the ending. And think about how you're gonna draw people in, get their attention, you need an attention getter. So my attention getter was telling you that there was a story about the three little pigs that you know, but I told you it wasn't true, that it was all a lie. And you have to read this book to know the true story. So that, that's gonna draw you in. I tell you that, that I can't tell you what happened to the pigs, but if you read the book, you'll know. So those are all really great things to add your book talk. So please keep those things in mind today while you're independently reading quietly. And then you can practice in your seat how to use the book you read and turn it into a book talk. Because later in the week on Friday, we're going to have a big celebration. And we are going to give book talks on our favorite, favorite books. All right, guys. I will see you all very soon. And don't forget. Miss Donna expects y'all to be so, so good. All right. Bye, guys.